Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, my number seven is The Crew from Ubisoft. Oh, nice. Um, now, how do you feel about I'm this, John? Because I feel like... Game. It seems cool. Good. Good, because like, everyone sort of sees it as the kind of also-ran from uh, Ubi's like, uh, E3 lineup. I thought they're fucking pissy about nothing all the time. Why yeah. you be? <laughs> I mean, it might be shit, Just, but it, you know, it sounds good. I don't think it will be. No. The handling is... Sorry, oh, sorry. yeah. I was just uh, <laughs> talking about a game I haven't played when you have played it, so yeah. Oh, shut up. No, sorry, man. Um, uh, basically, um, the handling, I think, is a... Uh, it's kind of a bit odd at first. Like it's arcadey, but it's a little bit stiff. It feels. So I played I played through it with about three different cards of varying kinds. I think I did uh, two kind of like uh, normal sort of I don't know sedan like mm. cards. Um, sedan is probably the wrong word actually. <laughs> you're, you're talking to a man who knows nothing about cars. I know nothing. Um, and then like <laughs> and then some uh, kind of like heavy off road stuff as well. Um, and I'll be honest, it's not actually the racing side of it I'm looking forward to. It's the just driving across the yeah, map right. I'm looking forward to. Yeah, like, uh, I mean, I do think it's too ambitious to do the entirety of America in, like, you know, kind of like one thing. Um, but uh, in terms of, like, to do that kind of with kind of really deep, in a really detailed way, that's tricky. But to have, like, a few of the individual cities have their own kind of touches and the general vibe of the place to be there, I like the idea of driving across America in, like, two hours while, like, listening to a custom soundtrack and... Yeah, yeah, like, there is no other game right now that gives you that experience, mm. that kind of, like, extension of the Test Drive Unlimited yeah. thing. You know, that that sort of game doesn't really exist anymore. Um, the last time I think I, I kind of enjoyed something like that, I suppose, was probably Forza Horizon. Yeah, um, yeah so I suppose there'll be a bit of that uh, with the sequel. But this will be different to that, I think, in terms of, like, style. It really is kind of feel like a, a kind of... It's an RPG in in a, in a kind of really sort of like fiercely traditional sense. It's weird, like all of the kind of uh, vehicle parts you collect from completing races and and like uh, team related events and stuff like that is treated as loot. And you are kind of on a basic progression system with like real levels that that do just make it feel like an RPG that just happens to have cars in it, which is a bit weird. But I quite like the combination of stuff in there. Like I. I think the exploration side of things along with that makes it suddenly feel like not a traditional racing game and that its appeal might actually be a bit broader than a than a racing game. Um, so I actually really liked what I saw of it. Um, yeah, yeah, like I, I really would like to spend like a kind of few hours exploring that kind of map before I make a call on it and doing a few more of the challenges, but it's, it's not short of stuff to do. Um, and I think that, yeah, it might be a kind of uh, sort of like medium-sized hit. Um, but yeah, it's nearly finished now, so I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. Awesome. Yeah, well, I'm definitely up for it too. Yeah, definitely.